It's mine. Elmer, I'm Kevin. You know me from the frat house, remember? Sort of. Found any good junk lately? Not much. Say, uh, you didn't happen to find a sweatband, did you? It could have been in the woods behind the KGB house. No! Get away from my stuff! Hey, 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 just a minute, just a minute, Mark. Let's not, let's not bug Elmer here. Let's not bug him because then, then he wouldn't come back for my fancy cooking, right? And we don't want that, No, right? no, we don't. I'm sorry. We're just uh, shooting the breeze. Fine, so it's just blow away. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. Elmer, Elmer, it's really okay. You <laughs> mean... They're very good guys. It's okay. Yeah, they were looking at my stuff. Well, maybe maybe they wanted to buy something from you. Oh, no. This is my stuff. They can't have it. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Look, you guys, I gotta go home. My mom needs to see me. All right, well, we'll check with you later or, or tomorrow. See what our next step is. All right. Thank you. Oh, customers like this and I could starve. You had four coffees, one muffin. She will. Oh, uh, Wanda, would you, would you give this to the sweet little thing that served me? <laughs> Boy, she was a looker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see to it if she gets it. I'm sorry if my friends bothered you before. But they're okay. Don't worry about them. make it their policy not to take rape cases. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I could have... I could have said that I was uncomfortable with these cases and turned them down. No, no, I... With this case, I did my constitutional best. And I almost ruined Marty's life, and now I have to appear in front of the state disciplinary board, where I'll probably be disbarred. No, they are not going to do that. Well, they might very well do that, and under the circumstances, they wouldn't be wrong to do it. I'm going with you to Harrisburg. You can't go with me to Harrisburg. Why not? Because you're too busy. <laughs> I saw your appointment book. You're absolutely booked from tonight through the day after tomorrow on WVL business. No, wait, wait. You can't go. You, you looked at my appointment book? Well, I had to. It was on top of your diary. <laughs> it was in your underwear drawer. What were you doing looking at my underwear drawer? I was mooching. Mooching? Doc. Hmm. I have to do this alone. Wear my socks? Face the board. Alone. No. There's something else that I have to do first before I leave. Alone. No, what? No, what? What now? I will see you when I get back. Nora. And then you... I'll explain all about it later. When I get back. Look, hey. Yeah, right, right. Everyone has to do what she or he has to do. <laughs> Freddie, are you there? Freddie? Fre Freddie, listen, listen. There's been a change in our in our itinerary. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? 
Well, I'm 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 going out of town in a few hours, and I I just that you were the one person that I really needed to see before I I left, and we've had quite a history between us. Will you talk to me? Well, I do. I do. I, I really wanted to say how sorry I am about everything that happened. Um, may I do that? You know, part of me wants to slam this door in your face. So maybe you better come in before I can do that. Sure you want to give up that option? everything he knew about me, you could assume that I was lying about the rape. And, uh, I wish I could thank you for preventing those animals from being acquitted by causing a mistrial. I wish I could say all was forgiven. I understand. It's okay. Okay. Why would anyone go through Police report, hostile exams, and trial. Why would anyone put themselves through all that just to cause trouble? And yet you went in there every day and you found some fresh part of, of, of the wound that was just beginning to heal for me, and you drove a knife into it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to forget that or, or forgive it. I, I, I understand. I, I really do. I, I, I came here because I wanted to say how sorry I was for everything that I put you through. And how sorry I am for having doubted your word. I'm asking your forgiveness. I am not expecting it. It was just something that I had to do. So, thank you for being frank with me. Goodbye. I got for her to come here like that today unannounced, not knowing how I'd react, and then saying what she said. She's got a lot of character. That's one good thing about the second trial. What? Nora won't be the defense attorney. Even without Nora on the opposite side, even if Carol Swift is allowed to testify, it's going to be pretty hard to get a conviction based on the evidence that we have. Find that sweatband. 